Hey, this is Holden here at d &E Supply. Today you'll learn everything about loading a truck, like what to do beforehand, how to place dunnage and load drywall, and what to do with a pup trailer and more. Let's get started. Staging starts around 3 p.m. every day to ensure the morning delivery trucks can be loaded quickly and properly. Never back into the supply yard from the street. It's dangerous, may cause accidents, and it's against the law. Instead, drive forward and perform a three-point turn. Position the truck perpendicular to the warehouse door for loading, watch out for other people, be alert and stay clear of the forklift. When leaving the truck, shut the door or else it'll be damaged, destroyed or your paperwork will blow away. If a truck needs repairs, we try to catch it while in the supply yard before it breaks down and delays delivery to the job site. Make sure to thoroughly inspect the truck during and after loading to ensure safety. Drivers, go to dispatch to receive delivery instructions. While the driver's in the office, the helper and the forklift driver work quickly to load the truck. Space the dunnage properly so the booms fork can pick it up upon the job site. There are no dunnage placement markings because some materials are loaded differently. After the helper finishes placing the dunnage, forklift drivers load the drywall. To avoid pinning the helper, the forklift driver must always set the load down perpendicular to the truck, leave room for the helper to place the dunnage, and take the forklift out of gear to prevent accidental movement. Each delivery is different and requires pre-planning before safely loading and strapping it to the truck. If you have questions, ask your supervisor. The helper stands at the front on the opposite side to watch for traffic entering the loading zone. Be on guard for pedestrians and vehicles. Always yell, coming over, before throwing the strap and clear to signal that it's safe. Too many people get hit in the head by the middle hook. Make sure straps are tight, but not too tight. They shouldn't move, but you don't want to cut into the drywall either. It's okay to walk on five or more sheets of drywall. Any less than they'll break. Place a protective corner down before tightening the straps. It provides a barrier between the drywall and the straps so the product isn't cut or damaged. This load configuration is incorrect. Strap the drywall first, then strap to the top with additional straps. The Department of Transportation requires three straps on a 12-foot board. Loads of more than three stacks need additional strapping. The fuller and heavier the stack, the less likely it is to be moved during transit. A lighter and inconsistently sized stack is more likely to move during transit. Inspect the cheater bars for cracks. If damaged, it will break loose and cause injury. It's happened too many times before, and if you're not careful, it can happen to you too. Counting the product three times is required for every shipment. First, the forklift driver, then the helper, Lastly, the driver compares it with the paperwork from dispatch. Watch the helper when backing up so you don't run over them. The helper will stand slightly off to the side where they will be fully visible to the truck driver. Buck trailers are used for large loads and are dangerous. An extra middle strap will be added to the trailer. If straps are loose, the load may shift, causing damage to the drywall. If the truck stops quickly, the load may shift, causing the trailer to nosedive. If a corner is taken quickly, the trailer could tip over. The pinnel hook holds the pup trailer onto the truck. If it's not depressed or is dirty, it will not latch properly and will disengage during transit. A few years ago, at another company, a pup trailer came loose, crossed the center median, and it killed five people. Drivers, always double check to make sure the latch is secure. Take time to ensure the load is securely strapped to the pup trailer and the latch is engaged. Let's recap. Pre-staging loads. Staging starts at 3 p.m. to prepare for the next morning. Driving into the supply yard, the helper safely directs the truck driver. Loading. Place the dunnage on the truck. Load safely and quickly with the forklift. Strapping. Use three straps on 12 feet of drywall. Inspecting. Thoroughly inspect the truck during and after loading. Counting. The forklift driver counts first, then the helper, and lastly the truck driver. And finally, pup trailers. Double check the pinnel hook and strap appropriately. In conclusion, be safe and be quick.